Hello, how are you today? This is Jilly Bling. Today's project uses the bundle Dahlia Days. So this is a beautiful bundle. And when you look at all these images, isn't it great when there's dyes for everything? This is the one. And I love this little word banner. I'm also going to use Flowing Flowers because these words in here like that font. And many of them fit right into this banner. And then, of course, the dies, dot detail dahlias. We'll be using that. So here are the projects. And I saw one very similar to this by um, Yvonne Spickmans. And she's an artisan. Understandably, she makes beautiful cards. And so here's this one. And then something a little bit different in the new color, Tahitian Tide, and that's pretty too. We'll use iridescent rhinestones, a little bit of heat embossing. So that is today's project. So here are the pieces. This is the first time I'm stamping early in the day. Usually I wait till after a shower, after I'm dressed, but Today is some race car um, <clears throat> on TV, some, I don't know which one it is, so I'm not going to say which one because it'll be wrong, um, but it starts at 9.30, and Tony's like, oh, there's a little sun. I said, you know what? This is a perfect time for you to go out because he loves to be out. As much as I love to be in my stamp room, he loves to be outside. I said, if it's sunny, you can go out and um, get a little bit of your outside time on and I could do the video while you're not here because somehow he's just always noisy <clears throat> he's like oh, okay I'll do that but that means to stamp in my jammies and I never do that mostly because see my lovely robe mama got this for me from soft surroundings and I love it but I have this bouncy chair ball for my chair and um, if you have a robe on and you try to sit on a bouncy ball things <clears throat> don't always go as planned it makes when I sit down it makes the chair just roll out of place not that I've ever fallen onto the floor but um, so I just never I'm never in here in jammies it just doesn't work like that till today then another thing is I drink coffee all morning, and it's like, am I going to be all shaky? Because the coffee does make me a little caffeinated. Anyhow, we'll see. So, blending brush, granny apple green. Let's do another one in pink. I was thinking about introducing another color, but... <clears throat> pink will be good. And on the first two... When I did the blending, I was trying to get it to go really soft out by the outside edges. And I found, and I kind of wished I did it a little bit darker. Because when you put this die cut piece, which is, that's what sold me on the set was this big die cut piece. If the green was darker, it would be more clear that there's this overlay. So this one I'm going to try to be just a little darker. And if you don't get it perfectly blended... Like, I don't know where that came from, but it's okay because there's going to be so much the flowers and the words going over that, that that's no big deal. I even notice I have like a white splotch right there from me doing the circles, but that's okay too. Then another thing is, do you want to do blending brush on the inside? This one, no. This one, I did a little bit right here. How did I get that spot? I'm just full of spots today. I guess it means it can get that dark. Maybe I should try more. Try harder. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> it's not as soft and gradual as the rest of the flow here. Okay, I'm getting carried away in that. Okay, so that's blending brush.
and I'll need that granny apple green. So the colors, I'm using Magenta Madness because my polish pink, which I planned on using, is being busy right now somewhere. And I had polished pink ready to go into garage sale, but um, it's okay. Or I had Magenta Madness ready for garage sale. So this is for the words. So we could do that, and that's going to be in, I also have Stays On and Versamark. So here is the word stamp, or the words border. Oh, did I pick out, hmm, what should I put on the outside? Think about that really fast. Well, we'll find out. Okay, so let's ink this up. And tip, when you're using this stamp and plenty of other stamps, you want pressure. Can you see how much pressure I'm putting on this? But not too much. And I'll show you why. After I heat this. Um, and I'm not doing the words yet on purpose because I need to see the frame of where to put them. Because if I try, just tried putting the words on right now, I wouldn't know how to line them up. Because looking at clear Versamark ink, it's clear. You can't see the frame. Okay, I have a little trick for this. If you didn't use your embossing buddy, just a minute. Okay, so to put the words on, now that I see the white frame, I know where to stamp the words. And I'm going to try some that I had a hard time with earlier. Because I, I had a hard time getting them straight. Right here. Sending a card instead of a text. So first time I had it really crooked. My paper is a little warped too now from the heat. Okay. Look at that brand new Versamark pad. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's hope I can get it straight. And because it's a little bit long and there's a flowers here, I had to purposely drop it a little bit low. Okay, I'm going to get my head over the center here. Okay, I'm hoping I got it straight. Another thing is I could see the letter D is going to be up into the words, but I think you could still tell. Oh, I got it straight. When does that happen? That one's dirty. This needs powder. So I'm always either too lazy or I forget to do my embossing buddy so I don't get the little overages of powder. But after how long? My son is 24. After 24 years, I have an idea, and it worked. I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so you could say, yeah, you got, you didn't use your embossing buddy, but why didn't I think of this sooner? Take a Sharpie and color it in. Because just like the blends, or you could take a blend, it will go over everything. And we all keep Sharpies with us. And I know that the die cut cuts really close to um, this border, so I don't have to cut everything or clean up everything. Look at that. 
Why didn't I think of this sooner? You all probably already knew about it and you just assumed. Everyone knows, but that's perfect. Let's see. There's a few dots here. And I'm going to be cutting that off. But definitely better. This is kind of like a reddish black color, which I think Sharpie just is. But it's definitely better than white. Okay. Just like that. So the dyes. Look at all of these. So I'll show you what we have here. This is for the words. And look how perfectly that fits. And because my paper is warped, I'll probably use washi tape. I had this one done. This one needs a little bit of TLC. Just a dot. Oh, I am so proud. So happy with that little tips and tricks. Okay, so back to the dies. There is two for the dahlia. There is leaves, regular standard leaves. There are, these two are different. One of them is more of a fern and the other one is a, um, kind of like a sprig. I'll show you in just a minute. And then there's these three flowers. So these three flowers, there are these two that are the same and this one. This one is just a little bit bigger. And if you're looking at them, you're like, they're really close. What, what are you talking about? So when you look on the stamp set, see how this one has kind of pointy leaves? And this one has rounded leaves. So there's two for the rounded and one for the pointy leaf flower. These two here are for these two pieces here. And when it comes to lining up this with the dahlia, because I went through this, I'm assuming you will too, I was spinning it around time after time trying to figure it out. Finally, I had to come up with a plan. And if I put this up close, see on the die right here, with my snips, my scissors, I made three little lines, like pushing really hard to kind of indent the steel. That point is, when you look on here, see how this flower has the biggest opening at the tip of it, and these are all closed up? To me, this signifies it goes right there. The one with the biggest opening has all my little scratch marks. And I did the same on this one. Okay. Oh, and then, oh, then, then, wait, wait, hold on. There is this beauty right here. Look at that. So I like the stamp set, no doubt about that. But I really like this. So this here, we will do on this little half sheet, because we want just half of it. Because it could fill up the whole card, but I like how this looks. And then it is just flat cut off right against this piece that we sponged or did the blending brush with the green. So choose which side you like. They're both great. So I'm going to run it through like that. So I have all kinds of pieces over here. Okay. My snips, sometimes they are magnetic and they pick up stuff. I don't know. Nobody's commented. Do, do your snips do that too? Does Stampin' Up! make their snips magnetic like that? I'm impressed. I like that. Okay. Oh, and this new ribbon. This is called Carl Band, of course. Gingham Ribbon. Love it, black and white. So we'll use some of this. So here are the pieces. And my little paper that I have these on, I put it all right here. So to make this card, I use two big dahlias, 
one rounded, two pointy flowers, two ferns, two standard leaves, and one little flower sprig to make both of all these cards. Or each card includes, these are the pieces you stamp and you die cut. So here they are. And we'll get to those pieces in just a minute. But here is the die cut piece. See, isn't it pretty when it's a little bit dark? So I'm going to use liquid glue, put it around the outside edges, and attach this piece. And one hint to um, applying the glue, because the green um, ink is water-based, do your best to get the, um, the die cut with the glue on it positioned before you put it down. And that's only because if you, I wish I had some, I'm, I'm a descriptive person. Um, I'll show you. If you have ink on a paper, Because the ink is water-based, and say that you put down your, your die-cut piece, and then you have to slide it, look what it does to the ink. It kind of reactivates the ink, and it will make it darker in some areas, lighter in other areas. So that's why I say, if you can, just set it down, have it right where you need it, and then put it down onto your um, paper with the ink on it. I hope that makes sense. One time I was doing a, like a seascape and I had blues and then I had brown sand and um, I think I was putting clouds and birds on it and they kind of fell onto the paper and I just scooched them where they needed to be. But then there was this big old skid mark. It's like, what happened? And it makes sense. Liquid glue is liquidy. I don't think you could really attach this with... Um, your tape runner or any kind of other adhesive. Well, I could have done adhesive sheets, huh? But if you're aware of it, it's no problem. And another thing is we'll be decorating this card, so if you happen to do that little whoops, um, you could put a flower over it. Maybe a little bit right in the middle. Okay, so this is going to go right here along the edge, just kind of in the center. Just like that. Okay, liquid glue don't go far. So I was thinking, yeah, see that's not good. I kind of made a mess of it all. Okay, we'll move on. So I wonder how, because I like this ribbon, it makes the um, the colors look so bright. I'm wondering if I could do, let me just try it, a double bow. And I have a video, one of my very first videos on how to do double bows. Because I do them all the time. So instead of it wrapping around, or this one, I just have it folded over and right here just tied with the baker's twine. So I'm wondering if instead somehow this can go on. Come on, let go. You know I got a good bow when it's hanging on my fingers. So this is going to be a June project. Oh, that's cute. Okay, somehow it has to be a double bow. Somehow. Okay, so let's get the pieces laid out. Right in the middle. I'm still, me and my Sharpie, I'm liking that. Oh, right there. Look at that. 
Maybe this could go over a little bit. Because there's a little bit of a gap here, so I'm thinking the flower or the bow should go there. Okay, and then kind of lay out where your um nah. Or can it be at the side? No, because that wouldn't look good at the side. Okay, let's just pretend like I should have had a plan. Or maybe just little ones can go, little flowers can go up at the top. So, Memorial Day weekend, we are here, and there's this little diner of Highway 58. I think it's called, like, Highway 58 Diner, and Tony's been wanting to go to that. So, we went there once, just because his school bus kids, they, they talk about it. So, we went there, and um, we had, I think it was a burger, and it was way too big. It was huge. They don't disappoint at all. And, um, but then we heard that their breakfast is really good. So, of course, we had to go back for breakfast. So when family was here last week, we went there for breakfast. We took Mama with, too. And, um, that was really good, too. And then the more he talks about it, the more people say, oh, you should try this. So now we hear their hot dogs are really good. And I gotta say, I'm not one for hot dogs. Because isn't a hot dog just a hot dog? Isn't a hot dog like a rolled loaf of um, bologna? It's like, I don't know. So yesterday, when I was trying to do this, and I've been telling Tony lately, I'm stressed, I'm not getting anything done. We keep on being social. Okay, that's how it's going to be. Um, he came home, he was doing something, he came home, he's like, so, you ready for a hot dog? First of all, you know what I think about hot dogs. I'm like, well, he goes, come on. I'm like, okay, he's been wanting to do it. It's kind of the holiday for hot dogs, even though it's been pouring down rain and almost cold. Um, we went up there. He had a big old hot dog. And he liked it. I mean, it was the whole tray. Okay, maybe not this big. But it was all of hot dog and then they put all kinds of stuff on it. I had a salad. It's more in a salad mood. Anyhow, that was good. So I'm putting some of these a little bit lower with glue. And then... I think most of the flowers, not all of them, will be on dimensionals. Hopefully this all stays in place enough for me to get these cute little pieces in here. Dimensionals. I'm going to use up all those today. So this project, yesterday Tony said, okay, it's dinner time and I never argue with that because I'm so grateful he does the cooking um, I'm going to put just a few dimensionals so I could still stick the dahlias under anyhow I was saying that this project I really like it but it takes a lot of cutting and I try to have projects that don't take too long because I don't want people waiting for stuff like the the dyes and then the other project takes a long time to up oh, I'm going to cover that up so I'm like I don't, I don't know if it should be a project but when I came back this morning and looked at it I was like oh that is really cute but I like pink and green I like granny apple green Okay, we're getting there. 
So these flowers, I'll put this one with glue and this one on dimensionals. I'm using a lot of glue lately. Oop, one dimensional left. That's not going to do. Oop. I want to see some of this. It's like I'm almost completely covering the, um, the die cut. Let go, come on. Yeah. Um. Okay, the bow is going to go there. How about right here? It's all just kind of collage. Okay, so what do we have going on with this? I think I put just two dimensionals on it. Oops, but it needs a little bit more just to make sure it holds on. Open, leave room for the bow. Oh, there's one other step. That is, okay, no critique, little black flowers. But brings it all together and there's no doubt this project is a happy project glue dots that could go right right there okay do you work, do you end up working in just this much space? Everything is just, it's encroaching my territory. Okay, so the little black flowers are going to be in stays on. All my memento pads are busy, but I love stays on. I love stays on for all the wrong reasons. Primarily because I love the smell. Little black flowers, look how that brings it together. Isn't that cute? And I think when Yvonne did hers, she stamped right over the die cut, but I don't know that I'd be all that successful um, stamping over the die cut. Okay, so this is done. I still have to do the words on the inside, but we'll do that in a minute. And then this goes on with dimensionals. And just a few in the corners. Okay, maybe a few extra. Okay, six. The older I get, the more dimensionals I put on. Isn't that adorable? Okay, there's one more thing on the front. Bling, 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 bling. Iridescent rhinestones. So, I will, I was kind of hiding. I think the big is too big, so I'll use medium and small. Medium, medium, and a little bitty one, because this one is almost hiding right there. Okay, outside done. So, for the inside, Keep this nearby. I'm gonna, on this one, dahlias, all the leaves, almost all the leaves, and little black flowers. This one I did just little flowers. That's kind of cute. Okay, in pink, I'll do just little flowers.
Okay, or maybe maybe at all. I wouldn't do it all. So here's the big one. Oh, and did I talk about not pushing too hard? So this one, here, I have a good and a bad example. This one I pushed too hard and it just made the line a little bit wider and not as crisp. This one I purposely had a light touch and I love how that one came out. This one I somewhat distorted the image of the flower and that one you could see it a little bit better. So don't push too hard. Hard enough to get a good image but not too hard. Okay, I had a plan. Dahlia. And where's the little ones? Say in groups of three. And here's the rounded one. Okay, so that's it for flowers. And leaves. Let's do some masking. I have my little masks. Because the... Um, Flower petals are also similar. Even if this doesn't perfectly line up, it's okay. Or you could cut the whole thing out and spend the time lining it up, but sometimes I'm too lazy. There. And when you do masking, um, if you can, rather than having the image on the post-it right up against the leaf, drop it back just a little bit um, because the thickness of the paper will make your um, stamped image kind of bridge. So right here you could see that there is a leaf and there's a gap and right here I had it right up against the, um, the petal, the mask against the petal and there's a little bit of a gap. So if you don't do it, if you kind of back it up a little bit you won't get that gap. Mm. So see how you could see a little bit of the pink through there? But that's just so my leaves, they come right up to the edge of the flower. Kind of gives it the 3D look. Eh, there's a little bit of a, a bridge. And that is good. So now we just need a greeting on the inside. And that's it. That's it. So this one, I wanted to say happy birthday. Sending a card instead of a text. Happy birthday. And stays on. Mmm, it smells like almond. Some people are like, I don't like that smell at all. I'm like, you're kidding. I love it. Sometimes I use it just because I love it. <sighs> Takes all kinds, you know? Uh-oh. Crazy driver. However you get that on there, pull out your adhesive remover. I think everyone should have one of those. They're basic supplies. And I guess it even takes off glue. As long as the glue isn't um, like all wet, if it's a little bit dried, like tacky, it will remove glue too. I haven't tried it yet. I just saw someone doing it made me love my little adhesive remover even more. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I didn't do the little black flowers. Oh, I have 
I have adhesive all over on that. I'll have to add those in. Okay, little black flowers in. Let me open my stays on again. I don't like how there's a gap. Look how perfectly those fell. It's a stamp set. Stamp set is just lovely. I don't know that I need any more. But I'm ready to do more. Okay, maybe a few at the bottom. Okay, I'm getting carried away. I don't need all this stuff. They say less is more, and I'm putting on more. Too much. Okay, just right. It looks just right. Okay, so that is it for today. Sending a card instead of a text. Happy birthday! And here are the other ones. A little bit of sparkle. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great weekend, a great day. Bye.